You don't need your mom to wake you up, Abby. I for street worker Ken Goldberg, it's very important whether or not his young friends go to school. He's founder and director of a Lakeview youth organization known as Local Motion. His van, like a traveling office, takes him to the streets and schoolyards where kids hang out. Ken Goldberg is trying to reach out to children prone to delinquency, the kind of youngster that most of us forget about until they break laws. As a young adult, I had a lot of problems developing uh, to the straight and narrow fell by the wayside a couple of times and I know what it is to somehow not be able to fit into the way things are and maybe we have just a little bit more patience and a little bit more understanding of the problem and a little stick to it that'll take to balance the scale to get those kids to develop a rapport with us and do something for themselves that's positive otherwise things just go on as they were and these kids will come in contact with the system and in a real bad way but maybe that doesn't have to happen if there's a role model and an adult that they can trust that's not quite an authority figure that can give them some good information on how to avoid the trap falls of being a young person in the streets goldberg started local motion three years ago with just sixty dollars and a small office in the jane adams center on north broadway since then two local churches have provided space for drop-in centers places where kids can come in play a game of ping pong and get off the street corners. Now a $60,000 grant from the Department of Human Services has allowed Goldberg to hire four staff members who share his respect and concern for the young. We just make contact with the kids and just try to be a friend. From there, we can do a lot of other things. We can act as an advocate either on an individual basis for a young person in the school or the courts, even the police station sometimes. Well, I got a court date, and, uh, and one of the locomotion staff, she's coming down with me to court. And, you know, that helps me a lot. It just changed my attitude about getting into trouble, I guess. You feel good when, when you, you're with them a while and, and the trust level builds up, you can see that reciprocated when they come to you, you know, and want to and have something that they want to tell you that they wouldn't want to tell their parents or a teacher, that sort of thing. Besides finding an adult they can trust, the youngsters local motion serves are introduced to new experiences and ideas. It's ping pong, volleyball, skiing, skiing. I stand in South Indiana and uh, Great America, Chicago, Fort Black Grand, a lot of places. Every few weeks there's a group outing that they all look forward to. And every summer there are camping trips, sometimes to places as far away as Canada. But what's really important here is that it's the 30 or so members of the Locomotion Youth Council who plan most of these events. The key to working with the young people here, in our opinion, is get them invested and get them to take responsibility. By taking responsibility for their actions and the actions of the program, they will respond uh, much more sincerely than if we were doing the program planning or we were making all the decisions and imparting them to the kids. We got committees to plan everything for the youth council and the activities that we have are not only for the youth council members, they're for other people to come and see locomotion and you know, they'll go on activity and they might like it, you know, and they'll get to know people and they might join. And when locomotion become, became uh, more active, we could actually see a change. The kids had a place to go and somebody paid attention to them. Just two years ago, we could not walk down Newport Avenue without being approached by drug dealers. That doesn't exist anymore. Encouragement from local motion and others also made a difference in the lives of these kids. Many are members of the neighborhood gang. But last summer, they went on a campaign to paint over the graffiti on Lakeview walls. Now, since then, some of their work has been scribbled over. But ex-gang member Glenn is not discouraged. How many times have you painted this wall? About three. Three times we painted it. Because every time we painted, someone writes on it again. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. I just leave it here until winter's over, and then I'll paint it again. You know, 
It's the only way they'll stop right now, you know, every time we show you paint over it. Keeping your neighborhood nice means a lot to you. Yeah, it does, because then people don't think, you know, that we're criminals or stuff, you know, and they like the neighborhood, you know, because it looks better. Now neighbors say hi to me instead of saying, there's a little hula, you know. <laughs> All because of a painted wall. Yeah, it's okay, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> It's fun for not only Glenn, but a lot of other young people in this neighborhood. Their enthusiasm is supported by groups like Local Motion, and it makes it easier for them to fight a continuing uphill battle. Before I couldn't trust anybody or something, I don't know. I got my trust in all my friends now. I'm happy. I don't go around making trouble for nobody, because I don't like nobody making trouble for me. I taught relationships, because I'd be more responsible. Uh, how to get to know people, because I used to, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to get to know people right away, you know, I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't talk to them. I couldn't talk to them, I was scared. And here you, you are know? in front of the lights and the <laughs> camera's rolling and you're doing fine. Mr. Goldberg should be really proud of himself for what he's done with those he kids. He and his group have turned around so many kids. They, they've made a lot of lives that would have been thrown away otherwise. Really productive. Good story. We'll be back with a final word right after this.